So you have a motion sensor, you have a smart light, but how do you set that up in smart things so when you walk into the room, the light turns on? I'm gonna show you how to get that set up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. In this video, what we're going to do is show you how to set up the smart lighting smart app in SmartThings. The first thing you need to do is obviously open up your SmartThings app and you want to go over to the automation tab. Now you need to be on the smart apps tab at the top and you can see that my smart lighting thing is already here um, but yours is probably not going to show if you do not have this set up or are not using it and click add a smart app at the bottom of the screen um, now you want to go to lights and switches and at the very top you have smart lights you tap that and then what you would do is set up your first automation. All right, so the first thing you want to do is choose the device you want to control. I'm going to go ahead and choose a, choose the bar light here. And we're going to click done. And once you choose that, you get some more options. So you can um, activate scenes. Um, you can also say what you want to do with the device that you want to control. So do you want to turn it on, turn it off? A mirror behavior would be it would copy the behavior of another light or another device. So say if you um, turn on the kitchen light, it would turn on the bar light and they would always be mirroring each behavior. We're just going to leave it on turn on. And then you would say, how do you want to trigger the action? So if we tap here, you can trigger it by motion open close sensor something becoming active or inactive a lock an arrival or departure um, there's just so many options buttons water leak illuminance at sunrise at sunset at a specific time at mode changes so let's just go ahead and choose motion that's probably going to be one of the most common items we're going to click on motion and click done in the upper right hand corner and then what you would have to do is choose which motion sensor we're going to go ahead and choose ecobee kitchen click on done and now you have when the motion sensor senses motion and you can set the um, other parameters when motion starts or when motion stops so let's have it when motion starts and then there's another option at the bottom to turn off after motion stops so let's toggle that on so once the motion stops it will turn off and then you can also put in how many minutes you want that to happen so say i want it to happen one minute after motion stops you can leave it blank obviously if you want it to be exactly when motion stops and we also have some more options at the bottom here and this would kind of limit this automation so only during a certain time of the day um, only on certain days of the week only when the mode is set obviously let's change this to be home so if the dogs trigger the motion sensor it won't turn on the light we have to be home for that to happen um, you can also um, limit it using a switch so if a switch is on or off you would just choose whatever switch you wanted to use or only if the illuminance is a certain amount so say if it's already bright in the room um, you have your blinds open and the sun is coming in and you turn on the light and you don't notice any difference there's no real reason for that to turn on so if your motion sensor has an illuminance sensor in it you could choose that um, motion sensor or you have one in the area that could um, determine if it's light enough and then you could set a level that way it will never turn on when it's not needed once you get all of these options set up you just have to go to the top and click on the next button and then what it's going to do is it's going to automatically give it a name and it's going to say turn on bar light when motion starts if you want to edit that name just tap on the edit automation toggle and now you can name this whatever you want and all you need to do is click on the save button at the top 
and now it says your bar light test is now installed and automating. Once you do that, if you didn't have the smart lighting showing under your smart apps, it should show up here with the orange icon on the left. And if you tap on that, what it's gonna do is show you all of your automations. Our bar light test is at the very top. I think they're in alphabetical order here. And um, I have my garage lights, I have laundry lights, um, master closet day and master closet night. Um, powder lights day and shower light and then you can always create a new automation right from here so once you have the smart app showing here all you need to do is tap in it and show you all of your automations that you have set up and you can easily create a new one at the bottom just by tapping that and then they're back to where we started uh, let me show you um, what we have on some of these other automations so the garage lights I have a motion sensor in the garage that automatically turns on the lights with motion. Um, the garage light starts with motion when the motion sensor in the garage is triggered and it's two minutes after motion stops it turns off and this probably saves me a ton of energy because when I go out to the garage I'm always going out there to get tools or whatever and um, when the door shuts and I come inside I can't see into the garage if the lights are on so without this automation my light could stay on like all night long or all day long so this is really helpful now we only have this um, turning on when we are either home or when we are home and sleeping we don't have it turning on when we are away and let me show you the master closet daylight so in the daytime um, what we want to do is we want to turn on the master closet light and we're going to set the level to 50 percent all of this other stuff is the same and it's only going to be during a certain time which is sunrise to sunset so when the sun rises in the morning all day long until the sun sets it's going to use this automation now if we go back and we go to master closet night now at the night time i don't really want the lights to be super bright because i have like most of my lights pretty dim um, so if the master light turns on and it's like pretty bright it hurts my eyes So what I did is I have it turn on and I have it set the level to 10% All of the other stuff is you know triggered with motion and all that um, turns off one minute after we leave the closet um, But this only runs from sunset to sunrise This only happens during the nighttime hours where the other one only works during the daytime hours. So that is pretty much how you get it set up and a few examples of how I'm using this um, smart app. Now this smart app, since it's built into the smart things, it runs locally, so it's very quick and very fast. And you can see you don't even have to use this for just lights. You can use this for anything. Um, when you click a new lighting automation, um, it doesn't like limit your um, items to just lights it's going to show you everything that is available so you can use this for pretty much anything if you just kind of ignore the all of the light designations i mean it's specifically made for lights but you can use it for other automations like buttons and stuff like that um, so i hope you found that video helpful if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible and I will see you in the next video.